Hi there, Sagittarius, and welcome back to Star Lordess Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of July the 22nd through to the 28th. I went ahead, shuffle the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Sag. First off, we have the Page of Swords upright, followed then by the Three of Swords reversed. Next, we have the Hermit in the upright, followed then by the um, Eight of Wands. And lastly, we have the Ace of Cups here in the upright position. Your overall energy is the Page of Swords in the upright position. This is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Page of Swords is interesting energy. Now, there could be a few things going on here. General read, right? So just take what makes sense in your scenario. Sometimes the Page of Swords can be that sort of um, sneaky, stalkerish energy where somebody is sort of checking on your uh, social media, things like that. Sometimes it can make sense, though. This could be somebody checking up, doing a background check. It makes sense if you have applied for something, such as if you're applying for a lease or if you're applying for... for um, you know, a, a loan, or if you're applying for um, a job, there's a background check generally involved. So if you're doing that, it wouldn't be too alarmed because that's probably what it's representing. For others of you, you could be dealing with somebody who likes to spread a little bit of gossip. The page of swords can be a little bit of a shit disturber, so be careful. Sometimes pages can represent younger people, or it can be somebody with not a lot of of uh, information but they pretend they have a lot so you always have to verify i tend to equate the page of swords with the the gossip at the water cooler who goes Psst, did you hear you know the company's planning on doing this and that they could get people all worked up but that's why there's a need to get some more information don't just take this person's word for it so there could be some of that going on could be some stuff going on behind the scenes sometimes the page of swords can be uh, represent you yourself if this is representing you Sagittarius you yourself are open to new ideas and new conversations a new way of communicating right at the beginning of the week we have the three of swords reversed which can indicate um, um, sort of healing from a three of swords in the upright situation this is where could be involved in a third party situation or it could be that that there was some kind of hurt feelings going on it could be a breakup it could be a lot of sorrow sadness when the card is reversed this can indicate perhaps that there is a make like say this was about a breakup this could be that things you're now making up with the person but it, it whether it's a, a love interest or it could be um, a friend or something like that but either way you know this puts you back to the two of swords in the upright position which is a card that um, represents needing to make a decision. Now, for you, uh, Sag, you could be needing to make a decision because somebody could have hurt your feelings, somebody let you down, somebody disappointed you, you found out something was going on. When it's reversed and you are now in that situation where you need to make a decision, it could be that um, you're trying to decide if this person you know, put you in the Three of Swords in the first place, you know, do I really want to go back into the scenario? I always say forgiveness is golden, is beautiful. Just say yes, you know, thank you very much for the apology or what have you. But sometimes it's not, it doesn't make sense to go back into that situation because if they put you there, and I wouldn't say once anybody can make a mistake, but if they're repeatedly putting you in the Three of Swords situation, you may really, really need to think about this. And um, because it, this could be a, a habitual thing that the person is like constantly hurting you, then it's time to look at it and go, hmm, okay, just accept the apology and maybe just move on. Next card up is the Virgo energy, the hermit in the upright position, which points to a need to look into a situation. Now, sometimes the hermit energy can make sense, like in, in cases of uh, students who need to put everything aside in order to hit the books and study because exams are coming, things like that. For others of you, you could be looking into something, anything from maybe you're scouting out a place to move to, you're, you could be scouting out a, a other companies in order to change jobs things like that so whatever's going on you're sort of pulling back and you're going within and you're really doing your research here you're looking into something 
pull back and do that. It's smart. I think it's a very smart idea, especially if you're coming off of something like that. Moving towards the weekend, nice energy coming in for you. The Eight of Wands in the upright position. This is Arrows of Love. Find their mark. Some of you could be meeting somebody new that really, really is uh, bringing a spark to your life. Others of you, this could be um, a need to suddenly travel. Uh, sudden travel, and I know that would never be a hardship to Sagittarius. Sagittarius of all the signs probably loves travel the most. It could be that um, some of you have met somebody new and this person has really sparked an interest, like I said, in you. It could be a lot of communication going back and forth between the two of you, sending um, emails and texts and memes and everything. Could be phone calls, what have you. This is just a lot of communication back and forth. Good news for those of you who've just started, uh, in, gone into business for yourself. This could indicate a lot of new clients. It can indicate, um, a lot of communication for sales. If you're in sales, great news as well. Others of you, it could be if you're on the dating sites, this could be a lot of people are communicating or reaching out to you. So beautiful energy of fast moving. And Sagittarius, you are fire sign, so you love the fast moving energy. Last card you have is uh, Ace of Cups in the upright position. This is the opening of the heart. Some of you, this is definitely somebody is, um, you know, sparking your interest and they could be opening your heart. The Ace of Cups can represent a new love. It could represent, you know, having, uh, maybe some of you are having a baby at the end of the week and this is that new life coming out of you and nothing opens up the heart more than that. Could be a new pet, could be anything that brings a great joy and happiness to you where you're it feels like your cup runneth over. So beautiful energy at the end of the week. And we want to hear from you in the comment section below. And in closing, I will be pulling a wisdom oracle card for you. Let's see what Sag has. Building blocks, number 28. So yes, it looks like, you know, aces do represent um, new beginnings, right? It could be the opening of the heart and uh, the opening of a new chapter for you here. Um, after a time of heartbreak and sadness, you could be pulling back and then coming back and all of a sudden everything opens up for you. Beautiful, beautiful energy. So I do want to thank you very much. Uh, for joining me. I really hope you have a fabulous, fabulous week and I hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe and I will see you again in the next video. Take care. Much love. Namaste. Bye-bye for now.